What's going on, Clutch Fam? How is everybody? Today is December 5th, and as you can see, it is awful and cold down here in South Florida. I just got back from Buenos Aires this morning. I took the red eye, and it was a little sad. I was sad to leave. I, I was having a great time with my family, got really close with everyone again, and everyone's doing so great, and I'm so proud of them. My oldest cousin's just a badass pediatrician. Uh, Malena, my oldest female cousin, is working at Facebook, crushing life. Facundo is uh, killing it as a programmer. I wish Lisandro had been there, but he was he's down in Colombia. Um, special thank you to Noel, the pediatrician, for showing me around and hosting me uh, until I got my Airbnb. But yeah, overall it was a, an amazing experience. And obviously my, my aunts and uncles, they're the best. And they fed me the whole time, a little too much. <laughs> uh, but it's nice to be home. Um, I, I, I was reluctant to leave because I was really falling in love with the city. It's a beautiful place with a lot of amazing people. But, and I was still able to get my work done. But I, it's time, you know, especially right now with the holidays, like I need to be here and some really great opportunities are starting to present themselves. A lot of really cool things are happening. Um, so I think the last time I talked to you guys, like two weeks ago, things were were pretty stale. You know, we'd, we'd sort of leveled out a little bit. And uh, I, I kind of knew why. Um, the market was really signaling to us. Our price point was a little too high. I think early adopters, we'd, we'd gone through a lot of them. And so... What we did, uh, we started directing traffic additionally, not just to the website, but also to Amazon. So that helped increase conversions. Um, we lowered our budgets for Facebook and Instagram because we don't have a ton to work with, and but we need to drive traffic. So Megan, she is a star. She started um, driving traffic from Snapchat and Pinterest, which is a lot cheaper and then you retarget using Instagram and Facebook. We're gonna get on TikTok pretty soon, but I submitted and haven't heard back from them. I'm working on, on getting everything trademarked and, and potential patents because we're getting new molds for these Android versions. And um, I also wanna update the input where it's not a micro USB, it's gonna be a lightning port so you don't need an extra cable anymore. Um, so little things that we're working on. Oh, I should have brought it with me. I had a pink sample that I got sent. And I'm also gonna be doing other colors, red, blue, uh, probably white as well. I think that that would be a popular color. Um, anyway, so Black Friday was incredible. We had our biggest day of the year by far. Um, super proud of the team. It was amazing. It's really, really cool to see an idea really start to blossom. My hair right now, dude. <laughs> um, and a, a cool thought I had today was I used to think like so many things I did were like weaknesses and like the older I get, I'm like, no, that's a strength. Like the ability to pivot immediately when when seeing that that something isn't working, like yeah, you got to be committed and you got to keep going, but you also got to be smart and notice that something's not working and then you change. Um, so just a little little thought for the day, and thank you guys for watching. By the way, I think it's pretty cool. I haven't released anything yet. Still haven't decided if I'm going to. Um, I'd like the company to reach higher levels of success, but we've got the roadmap, we've got the people, and uh, we've got offers for funding. Haven't accepted any yet because I'd like to grow the company through retained earnings because once you take someone's money, it's an enormous responsibility. I wouldn't just take someone's money and, and run with it. You know, It's just like I, I want to have a, pl a plan in place, and I really kind of want to need that money because otherwise I'd be giving up equity and unless it's a strategic partnership that can really bring some, some things to the table other than cash, it, 
I'd like to avoid it because then, you know, then you got a room full of people telling you what to do with your company. And I don't really want that. I think we're doing really, really well right now. I've got a plan and we're going to keep executing on that plan. Um, Cyber Monday was really good too. The holidays are in full swing. So sales are, sales are doing well. Um, oh, oh, I, I wanted to mention important uh, measuring uh, KPIs, key performance indicators. Um, so before, I was, I was so focused on, on sales. And that's why I wanted the $49 price point. We also needed the margins to grow organically. Uh, but what, I, what I've realized is when we lowered to a slightly lower price point of 39 which is what I always wanted to do, but we needed those increased margins at the beginning to grow um, organically within the company without taking outside investment. Um, and so what we realized was that our average order value went up because people were buying more of them at a time and that our lifetime value went up because people were more likely to come back because it was a slightly cheaper price point. And to me, those are, those are more important than single orders. You know, our revenues went up 3x and in order for us to be making the same amount of profit, we needed them at from the $49 to $39 price point. We needed to be doubling our sales. We 3 x them, which means our profits went up 50%. And we're moving more units. We've got more customers. So everything is great. I already miss my family a little bit. Um, but it's time to get back to work. And I'm really excited for the next few weeks. I think we're going to do some really cool things. I'm going to be expanding more heavily into Canada and the UK and possibly Germany because those are really good economic markets. And I'll keep you guys updated on all that. Cool. Love you. Peace.